Hello, Collective. Slowly walking down the hall, faster than a cannonball. Where were you while we were getting high? Someday you will find me, come beneath the landslide. The champagne supernova in the sky. Someday you will find me, come beneath the landslide. What's up, Collective? That's Oasis, so I was singing. So I you guys. I was just getting into it. So maybe somebody's wanting to get high with you, Collective. I don't know. Maybe it's Emperor in the Dark. What's this Emperor wanting us? What's Emperor wanting us? Who's the emperor mad at? Who's it? Who's this emperor mad at? Because he looks mad. <laughs> oh, ain't this funny? He's mad at the dark empress. <laughs> One nineteen. So, anyways, this emperor's pissed at his old lady. They both live in the dark. That's how they do. That's how they've always done it. They're in their lower energies. You know it. They're karmics. Look. They're in their dark balance, too. <laughs> all right, that's all I'm going to get out of that right there. Uh, look. Uh, dark towers coming. Dark towers coming, but the devil and the light in it come out, but then the devil in the dark. <laughs> so they always choose this tower's coming because they, they don't want to live in the light side. They want to be puppeteered, you know? They... They they like having control over each other's bodies. And look at how they look in that right there. I know it's got nasty on it, y'all. But look at that damn card. It's all about sex. Look at it. That's all. And the rest of the time, they walk around like, do, 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 do. They look crazy, you know. It look like damn zombies, you know. Uh, yeah, they... Somebody's doing magic. See that high priestess are? Yeah, that's in the dark side. That's why, yeah, they need to transform. I'll face my fears and look ahead, greet the new, and I, and the old I'll shed. Yeah, they're needing to shed. This is a, they, they're, you're all just in a standstill, you know. What? But then judgment and the light come out, rising above the material surface. So, uh, I take up the sword and find my true purpose. So, so this dark empress, it, you know, she's pushing that animal away. So, like, she's pushing, she's pushing her family away, her kids. And she might be pushing that partner away. That, that uh, this false masculine. False masculine, false feminine, you know, they live in the dark. They can be a, they can be a divine masculine, and divine feminine, but they got to learn to how to balance out their energies. Uh, cause uh, you know, he might be living only in his man's side, and she might be only living in her feminine side. You know, nurturing, caring, mothering, but she needs to be. But no, she ain't doing that because she don't know how to nature and care because she don't, she's up like pushing away her kids, it looks like, you know, or animals. But you know what that means. It's like uh, over emotionally material excess, uh, something smothering behavior, infertility, experiencing difficulties in mothering or with a mother. Loss of creative ideas. Oh, this emperor's pissed off that uh, she don't have any good creative ideas anymore. It's karmic, it's karmic emperor right here. Look at him. He's pissed off that she can't create anymore. That's what it is. And, and she's pushing him away. She might not be pushing her kids away. Maybe her kids is left and she's older because this woman looks older right here. This empress by her neck and things by me looking at it. I mean, hell, she looks like she's 40-something. Look at her. See what I'm saying? 
So that's what it is. They've been together a long time, and uh, they're not balanced. They they've not told the truth about shit. They they they're hanging on to uh, overindulgence. They're not able to compromise. That's why uh, somebody needs to get the courage and hold up his sword and find your damn purpose. You know, because you're being called to rise above this mundane shit in your life. That's what it's saying. And you're being called to transform and have a lot of strength. Okay, that's what you're being called to do right now. So, three dark cards and three light cards. That's what come out, okay? I love y'all collective. Uh, will y'all excuse me? I'm close to the kitchen. Uh, I'll be right back. I'll go get a drink. Okay, I had to get me a water, y'all. Let me see what what it wants to say in, in tarot. What's, ooh, that's coming out fast. Ugh. Pager Wands. Oh, he's mad this emperor is because uh, he's fucking uh, this dark emperor because he's fucking a, a young woman that's up to 25 years old and travel over land. So he travels over land to see this younger woman and spirits guide you to tell you. And maybe you've noticed, collective, that the son of a bitch, you know, this is your karmics. Are you paying attention? So, yeah, you would be a karmic feminine in this relationship because you're not meant to stay together. Yeah, you got you to gotta remember how to do these kind of stories. And I do, you all. Uh, what is it, uh, spirit? What else does Emperor want to blab to us today in a collective? I love you. Collective. Oh, is that what it is? Hang on, you guys. It's, it said he wants to talk about money loss. Always not lost. If you look behind, you may have something to salvage. Oh, now he's looking back, thinking he's got something to salvage with his dark empress over here. But he forgot to tell that he was traveling over the land to uh, meet a woman that's very young and she might be Egyptian. See the he might be an, uh he might have went and traveled overseas to see this woman, you all, or he might be planning it behind your back, dark empress. Just letting you know if you're all in a current relationship. Oh judgment. <laughs> this is about decisions pending finality. The only decision that can be made under the circumstance. He knows that's why he's feeling fucking lost at the moment and like depressed you know because he uh he knows that he uh went behind your back empress and put you as being in the dark he messed up your all's down stability and uh your foundation he was the one did it it looks like to me because he's been lying to you and maybe empress at one time you was you know Liking to party and shit. Maybe you did shit too because that dark emperor used to uh, physically abuse you, mentally abuse you, physically, psychologically, whatever it was. You know what I'm saying? But uh, he wanted to put you into hermit mode. He wanted to put you in hermit mode because, you know, this might be a Virgo and wanted to trap his light inside of his house and not let it shine out to the world. Did you know that? Yeah, uh-huh. And Aquarians and Virgos, they're the totally opposite, you know. And I, I have a Virgo, man, and it's been hard, you all, to learn how to communicate. That shit about killed me when I was in my 20s. I'm not going to lie to my collective. I love y'all, and, I, and I, I know how to communicate to people. And 
I know that my old man, you all, he used to get mad at me watching tarot readings and, and, and wanted to fight about it. And I told him, I said, I'm going to start a tarot business. I don't give a fuck what you say. I know how to do it. I know how to read it. He's like, but, 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 but he didn't want his shit coming out because he knowed it was going to come out because uh, after I started watching him, I know he did too sometimes, you know. But, I mean, I love my old man, but I'm also able to... Uh, judge and speak about this because he know that the angel sent me here to help people you know it because i can speak about all this judgment shit and i know people place judgment on me in the community and they had no right to do that and i know they did it for, to me you all in my actual community i know they did and that's okay you know what i'm saying let's see what Emperor wanted to say today Thank you, Spirit, for that reading. Is that what you all say, Collective? Let's see what Dorothy wants. Oh, she wants to. Oh, she wants to talk about. She wants to be with her sta stable emperor. Ooh, so she got. She's pushing him away because she wants somebody too. So both of them's wanting somebody else. One of them's fucking somebody on the internet, probably, and wanting to go overseas. This emperor. And this empress in her dark, she's got somebody, right, that lives in the same town as her, yeah. Or close, close, let's put it that way. 1129 Twin Flame, I love you. <laughs> oh, yeah, what's this said? What did Empress want to say? Oh, wow. Empress, you want to said this, you want to said... She is a woman that's over 25. I don't know why they made these cards. It should be saying a woman over 45. Because look how old she looks. You understand? Uh, I mean, you still look good. But you can you 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 can tell your age. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, he, she is thinking about em her and this emperor marrying. And, and building their wealth together. Uh, she also wants to talk about how she's been wounded and uh, undecided and need to take a step out of this situation. Then you will see more clearly. She knows that her emperor had to take a step back. All that shimmers in this world is sure to fade away again. Too far away for me to go. Too far away. Fuel. You know. This is talking about elevation of money. Overseas trip. Completion of phases. You know, will fortune, luck, date, karma, destiny, fate. This uh, empress over here it's, that's in her around lower negative energies at the moment. She knows that she had to do all this shit, but she also knows that she's waiting on, uh, waiting on destiny. You know what I'm saying? She's waiting on time. She she knows what she's doing. That's why she's pushing that fucking karmic away. You know, it's collective. What about temperance? 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 Oh, temperance. You can't have 20. Temperance? Temperance? You know, Dark temperance, temperance in a dark. Thank you, spirit. I'm just gonna get two for that balance one. Oh, it's talking about peace of mind and contentment. So you know you need to call on Isis to uh, lift this feeling of stress from your shoulders, so she can guide you with her hands to help you eliminate excess and that's what you've been doing you've been building your uh you're you're wanting to be single and uh uh alone or you're just wanting to be seen as someone that knows how to build shit you're you're, you're becoming your own business woman oh and uh the reason you're feeling it at not balance is because you're still tied to this dark man and dark woman and dark man's tied together in their sins and addictions Jealousy or trouble, able to break the chains that are binding you or holding you back. You're needing to break your fucking chains so you can become balanced. What judgment want to say? Nine of Wands. A young man to 25 years. Important letter. Oh. 
judgment. But you had to go within and realize that you had a higher purpose. And you got to remember you're rising above. And that's what you did. And somebody wants to bring you a letter. Oh, an important letter. Maybe y'all got to go to court. It's about this family member. See, Six of Cups, the past. This is about happy house childhood memories. Maybe this is your son is coming to talk about childhood memories. Oh, that was good, yeah. What else? What else do they want to talk about? They want to talk about you being weighted down with problems and you, you're very heavily overloaded at the moment. You're needing to remove those damn burdens and shackles that bind you. That's what it says. It could be talking to any of us collective. Take the story as it is. And know that I'm healing right along with everybody else. I'm in my healing process. And I hope y'all understand what that means. All right, Shree. You're very loving and forceful, brave enough. And you're forceful enough to get the job done, okay? Because you can tame a damn wild tiger. You're very uh, compassionate and tolerant. You overcome your base instincts. Oh, uh, look, you had the strength to, to have a peace of mind and the joining of two people. You you got to have the strength. You got to remove these burdens with this old past life karmic. That's what it's saying. And go towards your love soulmate because your kid knows that that soulmate loves you. That's what they want to talk about. They're going to bring you a letter from him. Oh, this is about the world. This is about overseas trip, money, luck world in the palm of your hand new opportunities yeah because they love you they want to take you out of the world did you hear that they might be overseas you guys and if you're new hit subscribe i love you guys oh boat or over water travel i want to go on a boat don't you collect the 17 17 88 oh maybe they maybe they want to take you out to eat at a restaurant oh this is a turning the boat out of troubled waters into calm that's what it is Oh, yeah, baby. And uh, you you had to get stronger in yourself after a lot of deliberating and delaying in your life. You know that you got to transform and leave this shit. That's why Page of Swords comes out. Young woman up to 25 years old, spying or deceiving, reflecting back over your shoulder. So what that's saying is your, your son, remember, he wanted to come talk to you, that young man, about removing these burdens with his father, Empress, because you're all both karmics in the dark. You all know who you are. You know, I can talk to y'all about this. Y'all know I can. Uh, yeah, this girl doesn't want to have a relationship with you. She's just spying and going to deceive you because she speaks to the karmic daddy. Ha, 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 ha. Did you know that? And your son knows that she does too. But your son's talking to your spiritual love because they know they love you. Huh? Did you hear that? That's for somebody now, Collective. I don't know, so don't get mad at me, you all. Don't you do it now. Oh, karmic. Look, karmic key. <laughs> Man over 25, man over fucking 45, it looks like. Green eyes, blonde or red hair, restless, outspoken, ambitious. So, they somebody, it got illuminated that these delays come because you had to, no, that ain't, I, I don't think that's your son's girlfriend. I think that's her girlfriend, your son's girlfriend. Her friend, do you understand? That's who this is. I, that's how I feel. So take the story as I said. Oh, and uh, she might have red hair or something, but it could be a man that is very outspoken and ambitious and restless. Is being blabbering to her. So this karmic man has been keeping you stuck. And you need to transform because they're, that's why, because the chariot come out movement of residence you're 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 leaving you're gonna have victory over a situation or problem balancing this out that's the truth uh the truth is you had to you was frustrated this shit is sometimes like a double-edged sword you know 
uh, and, and it felt like it might have been feeling like you had a hollow victory because you had to cut that person out and walk away. This was a m money problem. It's turning you back and walking away knowing nothing more can be done in this family. So you'll have a victory in this spiritual, as being a spiritual mentor or this marriage that this person is wanting to marry you. Uh, you can work for the governor government or public company or the government is going to recognize you in this official building huh <laughs> uh you got good friends and happiness you you had to take a needed to take this giant leap forward you have a student male or female that is trying to put a death or an end to this relationship huh <laughs> and it's a little page of earth sign a girl that's what it is on that card did you hear that She's wanting to put a death to this relationship. And it's being sick in bed illness. Need to take time out. Rest and relaxation is needed. She's wanting to put an end to this something about a death in this family. Queen of Swords. Sunlight. Your very loving and wish fulfillment. Did you see that? It, it kind of light, that Queen of Swords. But this little girl is wanting to put an end to your relationship. Did you hear that? Nah. Nah, you can't do that. You can't do that, young person that's watching me. Or in my family, young girl. That's an earth sign. You can't do that. She's trying to put you in a sick bed. <laughs> that's what she's doing. She don't want you to be happy. You could have a happy home in a possible country home setting. She's ending that home setting with Queen of Swords as partner. She's she's putting an end to it because she's a little bitch. And um, that's just what she is. You could know somebody that has brown eyes and brown hair and they're cold and hard and demanding authority. You could know a person like that, man or woman. It comes to light about... Uh, your marriage is happy, Queen of Swords, that your marriage is happy and that uh, you're very soft and gentle and motherly. You could have blue, eye, blue eyes and fire or brown hair or light or brown hair and your wish fulfillment. I love you, Spirit, but she's trying to end your relationship. No, you can't do that, little girl. No, I think she sees she can't. <clears throat> she can't do that, you guys. Don't worry, you guys. I'm trying to think. Let's. I will get out some of these untold truths of the heart. See what it says. Concealing, trapped. Concealing, trapped. Maybe. Maybe she knows, that young little girl knows that this relationship needs to end and she wants to break it. Huh? Maybe she knows that man's concealing something from you, Queen of Swords. She knows it. Well, she ought to tell that part. Oh, pretend you're taking off the mask is. This is about exaggeration and bluff. They've been bluffing you. They've been pretending to not have somebody behind your back. And you did. Uh, they wanted you to look as misunderstood. They they know that they was purposely trying to misunder make it look like that. Because they're a lost soul and they was playing the fucking victim. Because they know they've made a lot of mistakes and they can't own up to the truth like you did. Like you did, woman. Like Queen of Swords. It just said at the end of this story, it was you, Queen of Swords, about this... Marriage, you thought you was happy in your marriage, but no, it kind of like that uh, you're a good woman and your wish fulfillment for a lot of people, and there's a lot of people wants to be with you. And this man that you're married to, they might be dying. That's what that young girl figured out. She knows that now. And uh, what else? What else, spirit? Well, it can be, you know, you never know people out here how it is. So, if that don't fit for you, don't take it to heart, so all I know. But I know one thing, somebody wants to tell you an apology. It just said, oh, confusion, puzzled, unsettled, unclear. 
You know, they been pretending to be misunderstood and puzzled and unsettled. Uh, they've been in despair. They've been falling apart and sinking deeper, deeper, and deeper into that hopelessness of this is a great loss, nothing. In. Apology, return, forgiveness, gifts. Somebody might be wanting to return to apologize. And I think it ain't nobody returning but your damned emperor up here, you know, or emperor whoever it was that was pretending to not know why all this confusion and despair was around and making you feel like you was being stuck because you needed to release them fucking burdens go to who you love because this motherfucker did. It done said it then first card out. It said he messed with this, remember? It said... This page, remember, here's what it said on that Dark Emperor. Remember on Dark Emperor? It said he was with a, a young girl that might be maybe 25 years old, and she could live in Egypt or somewhere across the seas in a foreign land. And uh, he is getting, but he's thinking, he was thinking about traveling to see her. That's why he's feeling down and out, and maybe... He's been getting mad at you, and then when you try to tell him why, you might have sound snappy. Then he'll be like, blah, 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 like a dick face, because he's a little bitch, and he's been getting up in the middle of the night talking to that bitch, and that's why he don't sleep good. He come to light. That's why he's being judged right now. <laughs> good for karmics. Well, they want to apologize to you. That's all I'm getting in the little cards. Yeah, let's see what kind of Britney yet we are, you guys. Let's see what kind of Britney card we are, you guys. I love you guys in my collective. Oh, it's two. Ooh. No. Let me do it again, y'all, because that was three. Hang on. Let me do another one. That's who you are. Bye-bye. you the boho babe. Let me read it. Let me find what it is collecting. Wait just a second. What number is it? But oh, it don't tell you. Boho babe. Thirteen. Thirteen. That's my anniversary. Are you guys listening with me and my husband? That's our anniversary. Um, uh, one of Brittany's favorite casual off-duty garments is the pleasant, is the peasant blouse. She's been wearing them for years and is often seen rocking a crop version with shorts. Brittany owns the Bohemian blouse in a rainbow of hues to suit her every mood and tends to choose them when she feels carefree and happy. Trends may come and go, but Brittany sticks to the pieces she loves best regardless of what's in at the moment. But life is more about than a favorite blouse. As transformative as clothes may be, it's about finding contentment in the everyday and discovering the magic in being you and the boho babe embodies all these important lessons. Let her spirit soothe you and her joy lead you to your delight. Oh, go out and dress comfortable, chic, bohemian like this and get it on. I like da 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 don't get cold. Let's get it on, baby. I like don't get cold. La la la, let's get it on. Like t -t 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 -t. the donkey cold. Let's see what this says. What else collective needs to know? We don't need 12 spirit. What else does do we need in our spirit? Ooh, Scorpio. You got to be brave and passionate and loyal. Scorpio is one of the most determined signs of Zodiac. Uh, they love to get to know you. They have the most amazing memory of all signs. They are often met with many difficult life experiences that force them to grow beyond their years. They connect deeply to the phases of life, death, and rebirth. Represented by a Scorpio, they can be fierce. If you cross a Scorpio, prepare to be stung. Okay, so there are Scorpio. So you need to, uh, they, this person's wanting to get to, to know you. They love you. It's that spiritual partner. When is this going to happen, spirit? <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, and then it says Astraea. Uh, this is the goddess of justice. This represents good judgment and can bring clarity to how you stick to your commitments and make decisions aligned with your values and belief. So you're needing to stick to your commitment. 
to what you believe. Oh, Saturn. So maybe your Saturn is, is Scorpio. Oh, wow. If it is, you guys, hit subscribe if you're new or hit like or tell me, or tell me that it is. Oh, it's all what you consider the father of the cosmos, an austere paternal figure. And hit subscribe, please, and hit the bell and be notified every time I upload. It's associated with discipline and responsibility. It teaches us hard lessons and pushes us toward the right path, whether we like it or not. It, this makes us learn from our mistakes as we embark on this new journey. We gotta be held accountable for past decisions and Saturn is helping us learn from them. So, you know, Saturn does this every 28 to 30 years. Uh, so it might be your Saturn return right at the moment. And it could be in your wherever Scorpio is in your Saturn. And Chiron, the Cenotaur, a wounded healer in Greek mythology. Chiron represents a deep wound in our souls and our attempts to heal or deny pain. This wound can arise in relationships and mental health uh, situations unless attended to. For those experiencing personal transits to their own natal Chiron, the universe wants you to process some psychological truths so that you can come out stronger. See, right now you're feeling like this because it's happening in somebody's birth chart that's listening to me. I love y'all. And, uh, you're always, uh, you're needing to heal his wounds with this karmic shit and, and, and these mental issues in this relationship. You need to let go of that during this Saturn return. Uh, but maybe it's just saying you and that person at one time, you might have wanted to leave, but now you're being seen as a loving couple that just wants to travel the world. That's what also is could say, you know. Uh, but people was thinking that you might have been in your dark energy, but they didn't realize that this was years and years ago. You know what I'm saying? So maybe you're healing all these past issues. And if it is that karmic, you're healing it, and you're all going to split up and go your separate ways. That's the way it says, okay? Let me read one of my messages and see what it says. These new cards mixed in with these old ones. What else, Spirit? You might have to make a decision in a quick second, it said. Yep. This divine last one is having trouble sleeping and insomnia. They can't seem to focus because they're paranoid over secrets held deep inside, tucked away from divine feminine. And it just told on them. That's why you're all in your dark, lower masculine sides, you know? Because they got to let go of that. But you, you're going to have to do something when it's a little bitty fingernail mood. Well, a little bit bigger than the fingernail when it's about that size. You're going to have to make a decision. Or you might already did. Uh, they're just trying to make you out to be a bad girl or guy. Like they forgot all the hell they brought to your life was all out of envy and not wanting you to keep moving towards your goals. Leave the toxic bunch behind. Ooh, you're 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 making a decision. I think as soon as somebody tells this secret of this man's, cause they know that he's hiding something. I guess somebody does. Oh, but they're talking. Uh, these there's a lot of people talking about this around. For this person, all they know how to do is talk, talk. They're just envious of you because they know that you're trying to move forward and remove those burdens. There's gossip going on. Talk, talk, gossip, gossip. So this narcissist is telling you secrets. Oh, well, it ain't no fun anymore. It ain't no fun to do it to you anymore, star. You know, you dream big daily. You, you know how you want your life to look. And I teach you all how to make it look like that too, collective. You know I do. What else... Oh, Divine Feminine sees your true value, Divine Masculine. She knows that you're meant to be a millionaire one day. Ooh, because she taught you how to do that, baby. Oh, wow. Ooh. I love you guys. Ooh, wow. And you know what else? This is your true Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Your debt, thirty four, thirty four, seventy seven. Ooh, lucky sevens. Be a lady tonight. Maybe we're getting it. Ooh. Your debt's going to be towed 
paid totally off because the universe was wanting you to be paid back for all your good work and helping others out. Ooh, so let them talk. Let them talk about all that money, baby. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's what they're going to be saying, Divine Mask on the Mind. I love you. That's what they're going to be saying. They're just going to be talking and uh, gossiping. Oh, wow, and you're a mighty warrior, and your soul has fought many battles over his twin flame. His twin Ray loves you, your spiritual partner. Yeah, he's coming to get you. A boo -ba baby. Ooh, baby. <laughs> what else? Twin flame relationships are hard. Sometimes you don't want to be in them. Someone decides to be responsible and show you just how special you are. Oh, wow. Did you hear that? I love you. Did you hear that? 35, 35, 88 abundance. Oh, gosh, baby. And it's a secret at Christmas time. Don't you all tell nobody now. Don't you all tell nobody, but... That's what the gossip is. Oh, I hope that's true for you guys. I hope and pray. I'm praying that it's true right now. Maybe you tried to do that with him. Ooh. Oh, wowdy, woody. Your soul life mission is to love and let your love shine out into the world. And this fucking man was trying to, to keep you trapped in isolation. But they didn't realize you was building and growing and moving the fuck on. They didn't realize that. <laughs> oh, well, and it said, When the universe has sent a person into your life, you need to trust and have faith that it will all manifest for you both at the right time. It's manifesting for you right now. Divine masculine's coming at Christmas time, and maybe the moon will look like this. I don't know. We'll just have to see when it comes around that time, you guys. But he said, now let's get to it like the big boys do it. That's a poem by me. I just made that up. You know, I did one day. They're, they, uh, they're telling you that you're going to get to it like a big boy and big girl and uh, let all the gossipers gossip and let them see how good of a person that, uh, how good of a life that you and him is going to live. That's what he wants you to see. Uh-huh. He's wanting to get to it with you, baby. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh, and yesterday I saw you out in town, but I couldn't get your attention. He seen you at the red light in town, and he couldn't get your attention. Oh, well, <laughs> Ooh, that made me upset, did it, you guys? <laughs> oh, wow, thanks. What about that? So yesterday, if you went out in town, he saw you, huh? Uh, there resides within men a sleeping giant. He is a dark and wild creature full of power and potential. When? Accompanied by his divine feminine counterpart, together they can become an unstoppable force of love and action that can heal and save Mother Earth. <laughs> and I found that on Pinterest, and Shikoba was the one who wrote it. But what it's saying is, he's a sleeping giant. And he seen you yesterday, and he really wanted to fucking see you. And, and he knows you had your head turned, because you was with that dark masculine that's what it was what it oh you want to talk about it yeah they want to talk about it and they love you so much oh god and he says someone is saying give me that love and i'll show you just how damn special of a love that you are baby oh god now he knows that you are that baby oh and he knows that he wants to give you a kiss and he's head over heels in love with you He's in love with you, Collective. What else do you need, baby? He's in love with you, Queen of Swords, in a Collective. All of you that know how to put up your damn sword because you're an empath. You can feel everybody's energy. And you also know how to remember how these narcissists treat you and all the lies and deceits. And you, you're, not, you're not meant to stay with this person. You need to leave it. This man loves you. They fucking love you. They fucking love you. It says when you learn to tap into your divine mind, that's when our, you're going to get all these downloads from our spirit and source. And I see them all the time, you guys. You know I do. Live and live. Four, 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 three, 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 two, 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 five, 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 four, 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 four
And and he knows that you're a different person and they ain't no old patterns. 39, 39, ooh, wow. And he, and he loves you and he wants to have a celebration. And he says, yeah, right, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Get the fuck away from this person that's manipulating this situation. Pretending like they're your attractive magnet when it's not them. It's a that's a past life soulmate. He's telling you to get away from this person, so you and he can celebrate at Christmas. He fucking loves you. I love you, divine masculine. We're celebrating at Christmas. Don't you worry. We're we're doing it. Oh wow! And you and this person has a strong bond between each other, and people see it. So they will send people to mess with it, but they don't realize that God will always give you what was meant for you. They're giving it to you. And you're saying no to all them karmic cycles. You're not doing it again because you know this person was wanting to keep triangulating you with other people. Because you as a group. And that's a down he-man woman hater that you need to get away from. And I guess you did rebel against these people. Men that hated women, you rebelled against them. Because before you went through this Kundalini awakening, you got out all them traps they set for you. But Divine Mask wants to take you skinny dipping until the morning light. Now, that's where he wants to celebrate. Now, he can't do that at Christmas, but he wants to do that in the spring. Because your angels, they guided you, and you're grateful for them. And it's safe for you to love that person. The angels are going to make it to where you're not going to have to worry about one damn thing that it, when it comes to your finances. Not one thing. You don't have to worry one thing. <laughs> All these people, they can't believe how smart you are and intuitive and wise and knowing. They, they can't believe it. They can't believe you survived it all. But you're clairsentient. You clearly, you clearly heard what all these idiots were saying. But you know it. All right, collective, that's all I got for y'all today. I hope this helps you guys out here. I love y'all, and, and I appreciate you. I appreciate you muchly, you guys. That was a good reading. Did y'all think that was a good reading, collective? I thought it was. That last part right there was real good. And remember, that one masculine is, uh, they can't sleep because they know that they did something. Somebody's masculine out here, okay? That's why that Saturn come around. Karma, karma. You gotta let go of all that shit. You gotta let go of all shit in your life that you don't need anymore. Burdens, it's not yours to pack. You gotta let go of it, my collective. I love you. And do y'all love my Alpha Alpha card? And if you damn love my Alpha Alpha card, hit like today, collective, because I love you guys. I love you guys and gals. All right. P -p -p Pieces. Come back and see me tomorrow. I thought that tied in pretty good, collective. I love you guys. Pieces.